Hey everyone, how are you guys? Look at that beautiful, beautiful display of amazing Canta quilts that I have here for you guys. I have over 40 quilts that I hand picked out. I did them in a variety of colors here, as you can see. I did from the reds to the blues to the greens and the purples, the yellows, the oranges, and I did it in an order so you know how I'm going to be doing it. If you're wanting a Canta quilt today, down below is my Etsy shop link. Just click on it. The listing will be at the top of the list in the store. Click on that. They will be numbered today. So if you're wanting a certain quilt today that I'm going to show, because I'm going to go through each and every one of them pretty rather quickly. They will each be numbered just like they are in the listing. So say if you want to quilt number six, um, you go to that listing, hit the drop down menu and you click on quilt six, put in your cart and go. They're $25. I'm running the sale for the last time. This is going to be the last time that these quilts are going to be going for $25. I am changing them and I'm going to be raising the prices. I noticed that the competitors out there, the prices are a little bit, uh, not a little bit, a lot higher. <laughs> So um, I, I'm doing my best to give you guys a great deal until I keep them stocked in my shop. Um, and uh, so I wanted to pick out the most beautiful colors for you guys for a great price. And um, I'm also going to be, if you can see, I don't know if I, you guys can see it from here, but I will today at the end, because um, there's going to be a lot of videos going on. I think it's going to be part one, part two, part three, depending on how long it's going to take to get through each and every one of these quilts. Again, this is the perfect time for you to get a pen and paper if you see one that you want um, to write it down before you go to the listing. Now, don't worry. Um, when you go to the listing, I will do my best to have a photo with the number of the quilt in it, like pinned on it in the listing. So in case you say, okay, you want to verify that quilt six matches the quilt that you're wanting, it will be in the listing. So it's going to take me a little bit more time to do that, but I'm going to do that because I know when I'm shopping for something, I want to make sure I'm getting the one, exactly the one I wanted when I was watching it. And I want to make sure that there's no miscommunication in that whatsoever. Also today in one of the videos, I'm going to continue on for those who want the uh, the purses as well. Um, I, at the, I'm sharing with you guys the things I've been selling at the farmer's market, and I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to hand pick out what you want, no different than you being at the farmer's market kind of thing, at a great price. So I know at the farmer's market, I was doing them for $45, and um, I know that um, you guys absolutely love them, and I, the lowest I can go is $25. So um, the purses here are going to be 20. Again, they're reversible, which is awesome. One side is going to be different than the other. I'm going to do my best to get to these today as well. These are 20. I can't go any lower than 20 on the purses. Um, but this is a bonus though. Anyone who buys more than one India inspired item in my Etsy shop, it can be the fabric packs. It could be the quilts. It could be the purses. I'm going to be giving away um, the uh, cell phone purses, which is a great deal because these are $10 in the Etsy shop. And if you're not familiar with what they are, they are embroidered uh, fabrics, whatever theme there is. There's like, um, there's like elephants, there's all kinds of themes. It has a long strap that does a side purse and it has this hook here that connects to your uh, your pants so it stays close to you as possible so your, your personal things are close to you. I wear mine inside my clothes sometimes when I'm going to a certain market. I don't want people to have access to my phone or whatever. But my phone fits right in there and it Velcros. And what's cool on the back, I put my money and my cards in the back. So I have a rather large phone so these fit perfectly in them. So this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna have my pen and paper here and I'm going to start on the reds and I'm going to work my way over to the yellows here. And um, they're, like I said, both sides are different. So I'm just going to quickly go through each one. I'm not going to open them up fully like I've done in the past. I'm going to show you what the one side looks and then turn it and show you what the opposite side looks the best I can. We have 40 quilts to get through here. And I wanted you guys to have choices. Um, like I said, they sell rather fast, so make sure you have your pen and paper ready to go um, and available. So let's go ahead and jump right in while we have the chance, guys. Uh, let's get this going. Okay, everyone, this is quilt number one. It's got beautiful colors. I mean, literally, we are full of colors and, and floral and all kinds of design on one side. Now, when I flip this over to the opposite side, the designs is you got purples, you got greens, you got leaves. It pretty much goes with the same other theme. Look at that beautiful green. 
So you got pretty much all the colors you can think of and patterns and blocks and things like that. It is absolutely gorgeous. The ends have the beautiful, um, looks like they did like the, the cross stitch, the X's all along the border, which I love that. Some vendors don't do that. And I'm glad that, whew, there's our zoom. I'm glad that we got that with this pick. Again, this is quilt number one. I'm on to quilt two, guys. Okay, everyone, this is quilt number two. Again, if you don't want the reds and the and the, the reds and blues right now, you might want to fast forward. But this is quilt two, and it's got these beautiful reds and florals and things like this. But on the flip side, we have which brings out the beautiful like reddish pink, and we got the aqua blues going on here. And this quilt, we also got the oranges and the greens. Isn't that awesome? Look at all those different blocks of colors and design. That's the really cool thing about the India Canta quilts is they do bring out a lot of beautiful colors that all go well with one big main pattern. It just, look at, it just all seems to match very well. So there's quilt two, let's go to quilt three, everyone. Okay, everyone, here's quilt three out of 40. So get your pens and papers out, guys. This is what you need to remember the number before you go to it. Um, again, we're at the reds. We got the deep navy blues, but look how bold and beautiful these colors are. Absolutely loving this one. I know my daughter would absolutely love this one. These are totally her colors. On the flip side, we got, look at this beautiful blues with paisleys, and you got the yellows and pink pastels. Who would have thunk, guys? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? But look how beautiful and bold these colors are. Gorgeous quilts. Like I said, I handpicked my favorites um, to make sure I got the most beautiful, bold colors you can have. Again, that's quilt three. Let's go to quilt four. Okay, everyone, here is quilt four. This is gorgeous. Not only do you have the beautiful different uh, floral theme you got here, look at these triangles with the beautiful checkered greens and yellows absolutely gorgeous look how beautiful the colors it's the best way i can explain it i hope i got a good view and close up but look at the opposite side you get this beautiful white backdrop along with the pinky peach but look at this border can you guys see the gold strip into that absolutely gorgeous this is very beautiful i'm loving the greens and the the reds it's just beautiful can you guys see the color okay just gorgeous this is quilt four. Let's go to quilt five, everyone. Hey everyone, this is quilt five. You got this beautiful black with the beige. If you can see the silver shimmer in the background, it's gorgeous, but that's not it. Wait, you see the reds and these giant paisleys as you move on. The opposite side is equally gorgeous. Just wait. Isn't that just gorgeous? I'm in love with that one. My daughter would absolutely love this one too. And wait to see that. Look at this. You get this beautiful white backdrop and you get these beautiful blue flowers going on here. And then on one strip, you get this orange here at the bottom. And then you get the burgundies, the blues, and the yellows. Absolutely gorgeous. That's the cool thing about India Canta quilts. They come in so many different colors and it all looks so very well together. Again, that is quilt five. Let's go on to quilt six. Hey everyone, here is quilt six. We got the pinkish red colors going on here. And at the bottom, we got this beautiful green tie-dye almost like, look, what's really cute about the pinky red is if you can see, it's got like this light shimmer going on. I don't know if you can see, but it's gorgeous. If anyone's looking for pinks, this is one to grab. It's gorgeous. And the bottom has this beautiful green. Like I told you, it's almost like tie-dye or some consider like bias kind of fabric, just gorgeous. And then on the inside, this is one whole side. The inside is the opposite direction here. Let me see the flip. The inside, you got this beautiful bold. Look at that. Wow. How gorgeous is that? Now, those who don't know what India Canta quilts are, they are made of different sari wraps. Um, there's vintage, they're vintage, and they got different types of blends of fabrics. Some are aged and older. Some have like little little patches and things like that to give it some character. But all in all, the color is absolutely beautiful. Now you're dealing with vintage fabrics. So when I usually do mine, I wash in cold or gentle and I tumble dry for like a few minutes and then I hang dry them. The colors in mine work. They're just beautiful. When I hang dry, they, they just smell so beautiful as well. So that there is quilt six. Let's go to quilt seven, everyone. 
All right, here is quilt seven and look how bold and beautiful. If you're looking for bold greens and reddish pinks and beiges and yellows, this is it. It comes with all these, look at this whole side has got all these beautiful leaves, gorgeous leaves. And then when you flip it, look at the pinks guys. We got the baby blues, the pinks, paisleys. Isn't that gorgeous for those? I know there's a lot of people wanting the pinks. This is one that you might like. It's got beautiful pinks in it. And then it looks like it's got different patchworks of different colors, um, which is awesome. There's those pinks again, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the surprise of Canta Quilts. You never know what you're gonna get. Again, this is quilt seven. Let me hold it, fold it up straight. There we go. I found this new system, putting it on a hanger. Cat keeps it folded for me so I don't feel like I'm flipping all over the place. So quilt seven, guys, let's go to quilt eight. Hey everyone, here is quilt eight. If you're looking for blues, you got blues. This one whole side is nothing but blues. Now, I was just a minute ago, I was talking about how you wash these kind of quilts. I recommend washers. I mean, these, this came from India, so who knows where this fabric has been. I usually, like I said, I wash mine as soon as I get them, hang dry them, um, absolutely beautiful. Wait till you see this guy. So we got the blues here all on this one side. All these different blues. And then when you open it up the opposite side, we got this bold yellow. I've never seen that such bold yellow. And then we got the reds. So we got the reds, the blues, this really beautiful green. You never know, everyone has their different style and taste and this beautiful green as well. So it looks like we got a lot of different designs going on in this one and different colors. So there you have it. I've never seen such a bold green before. Love that burgundy. Definitely a first. So this is quilt eight and who knows? Someone might use him for as uh, different projects or for their use. For those who love the baby blues, it is definitely a baby blue one. So let's go ahead to quilt nine. Here you go everyone, here is quilt number nine. Uh, again, like I said, I'm working in the blues. We got the most beautiful blues here. We got like the blue bias or tie dye type of fabric going on here all the way down. This one here also has a cute little green patch there at the bottom. I love that. Now the inside is gonna totally shock and surprise you. It's like, look at that. That look like confetti just going everywhere. How cool is that? We got the polka dots. Look in there, looks like we got a lot of the blue. We got that confetti. I'm gonna keep flipping it. I love doing the hanger thing. There you guys have it. So this one here is one that's got the blues and then this pattern here on the back. Nothing crazy bold for those who absolutely love just to keep it neutral as possible. But there you go. The two colors together looks really well. Loving that blue. Definitely loving that blue. Let me push this guy straight. He's also got another cute patchwork right here. Let me show you. Look at that cool little patch loving it so there you guys have it that is quilt number nine let me go to quilt number 10. okay everyone here is quilt 10 again we're working on the blues looks like this one's got some beautiful green on the inside but look at this i could totally see beach with this one look how pretty loving that and on the inside as i'm turning here i see we got the greens going on here and as i keep flipping i gotta go the opposite direction here look at that guys look at that chevron isn't that pretty? Oh, like I said, I never. there's never a dull moment every time I open these open, uh, open these up. Boy, I said that opposite. Uh, then you see a bold color like this. But isn't it cool how it all looks so very well together? I love how they do the different types of fabrics woven you know, in and then hand stitched. It's just gorgeous. Loving this. Loving the colors and everything. Yeah, it's always like a surprise every time. This one, I think I've seen every kind of type of theme or pattern there in the Canta quilts. Nope. There's always not one the same. So there is quilt 10. Let's continue on. All right, here is quilt 11. And in, we're into the greens, guys. Let me put that tag on here. As you can see, there's that beautiful floral weave going on. And um, we got the beautiful yellows and oranges and greens and like a creamy beige color, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And if I keep flipping, look at this, beautiful orange. And then we have like a little bit of strip of the burgundy and the deep blues. And uh, so there you have that. 
Loving that. There you go. So we got the burgundies, the deep blues, and a different patchwork going on here. It's like not one print. It's like a variety of prints, and it goes so well together. Loving that green. Totally gorgeous. All right, all right let me bring this guy up. Loving the hanger deal, man. It makes some folds and nice and flat for me again, as I can show you, which I love. So, all right, let's go to quilt 12, guys. Oh my goodness, look at this quilt 12. Again, we had like the tie-dye bias kind of fabric. So we got like the pinks and greens, the yellows going on here. Beautiful quilt. Again, when you see the, the woven crisscross at the bottom, it's just gorgeous. Loving that. Let me go to the opposite side. Look at here, guys. They're bringing in the blues. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Surprise. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Loving the bold reds, the blues, and then they bring in the greens. Gorgeous. You guys can see that good. Just beautiful. I love Canta quilts. <laughs> I tell you, every time I get the packages, it's awesome. I'm like, look at those beautiful colors. Again, guys, that is quilt 12. Let's go to quilt 13. All right, everyone, this is quilt 13. I have to give my shout out that this is one of my favorites. Um, it's totally retro. Let's cut that string off. And uh, look at this. Doesn't that remind you guys of floral patchwork retro? It has that all on one whole side going on right here. And if you flip this this way, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful floral. You guys see that? And with the polka dots, it's just so beautiful. Totally reminds me of the 70s. At least for me, it does. Look at that. And then the opposite side, you got this beautiful burgundies and beiges. You have this here. It's like one whole half side is like that. You keep flipping it. You got the reds. And then we got back to the greens. But look how well it all just goes well together once you flip it right back over. But just absolutely gorgeous. Loving, loving this a lot. <laughs> this is one I definitely would have kept, but I have so many. So this is quilt 13. Let's go to quilt 14. All right, guys, here's quilt 14. I imagine I'll go to quilt 20 in this rack. And the next video, I'll do the following 20, which I think is fair. So, so far, we're still in the greens. The purples are next. So here is quilt uh, 14. Look at this beautiful green. Isn't that beautiful? All the way down there. It does have like patchwork, if you can see. Where they do some stitch work and patches. And then when you flip this guy open, look at the inside colors. Got the beige and the, the pinky. Look at the cute patchwork. You can see that. So cool. You flip this open, you got this almost looks like a tribal type of pattern going on here. That is the whole opposite other side, along with like trim patchwork. And then we're back to the greens here. You guys see that? How cool is that? And I love this patch here right at the bottom. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm going to put this guy upright again. So like I said, one whole side has got this here. If you can kind of see, we got another big patchwork. Those who love, I know a lot of you guys love the patchworks. I have a lot of requests for the ones with the patchworks, like patches and stuff. And then the opposite side is that pattern with the patchwork. So there you guys have it. That is quilt 14. Let's go to quilt 15. Okay, everyone, this is quilt 15 for my purple lovers. Look at this beautiful purple guy. As you can see, the one whole side is we got purple. If we flip this here, what do you guys see? Loving this. Look at it. It's like, surprise! The whole opposite side, we got this beautiful burgundy with gold accents. And you guys can kind of see. And then we got the purple, okay? And the burgundy with some of the pinks going on in the corner. So one side, we got all the purples. And the opposite side, we got, like I said, the burgundies with the pinks right here, like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful quilts. I'm loving the purple. That purple is just gorgeous. So again, that there is quilt 15. Let's go to quilt 16. Okay, everyone, here is quilt 16. And we are in the purples again. And we have some green in that purple one. So look at these beautiful purplish flowers. We got the beautiful black backdrop. And then of course, like I said, at the bottom, we got this beautiful green going on 
We do have some of the pink checkered. We have the burgundy. And then we have this deep navy blue with the, the uh, beige leaves. And that's what we have there, guys. This one is an absolute beauty. Like I said, one whole side is this purple. The opposite has all these other colors going on. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So that is quilt 16. Let's go to quilt 17. Okay, everyone, here is quilt 17. We definitely got the purples, the yellows, and we got the pinks. As you can tell, we're moving on into the yellows and oranges, but we got the purples, the pinks, slight on the yellow. And then the opposite side looks like, oh cool, is that? Looks like we got some guitars with this beautiful yellow backdrop along with this beautiful like yellowish color backdrop with the yellows, oranges, and the pinks going on. You can move it, look at that. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Look at that, guys. See the drums? You can see the drums. We got the music symbols that are throughout this. And then we have the guitar kind of thing for those who absolutely love that. And then we got purple on the whole other opposite side. As you can see here, purples. And then, the, like I said, the opposite side is like the drums. And the, look at that. Just, isn't that amazing? Like all that is in that. Loving it. For those who like the musical kind of things, that is quilt 17. Let's go to quilt 18. Okay, everyone, here's quilt 18. We're getting into the orange bash yellows. But look how beautiful orange that is. Looks like one whole side, we have this beautiful orange going on and cream. And then when you keep flipping it, look at here. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful flowers. <laughs> Green and orange. We got the beautiful leaf. Look at that, guys. Those who love the orange, greens, and blues, you got it. And we definitely got some yellows going on in here. Kind of see and look at that pattern with all the yellows and the greens. Ah, oh, this one is definitely like definitely bold with the yellows and the um the little bit of greens going on in there. Absolutely gorgeous for those who love the yellows and oranges. This is definitely one for you. That is quilt 18. We got two more guys on this video. Okay, everyone, here is quilt 19. Of course, we got the yellows, we got like the reddish pinks, the beiges, and the greens. The front and back has this beautiful bold color. And when we flip the opposite side, we got like the burgundies that kind of go really well with the other colors in this pattern. Look at here. Oh, wow. Look how it's bringing in the blues. That is so pretty. We got more. How pretty is that? Got the beautiful blue flowers. There we have it, guys. That one there is quilt 19. Let's go to the last one on this video. Guys, all right, guys, this is quilt 20 and by far is my boldest one of them all. Look how beautiful reds, oranges, yellows. We also have this beautiful green going in there. And look, it's almost like tie-dye kind of thing. And in that green, which is so cool, you got like these tribal type people carrying different, um, like there's animals, there's people. It's just really pretty. Let me get this guy straightened out and I can flip through them for you. Like I said, the front and the one whole side is going to be that orangey. The inside is going to be that green. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? You have to say that is so beautiful, especially with that floral. It's gorgeous. There you guys have it. Now you guys go on to part two. This is the first, first half is going to be 20 quilts. The next half will be the next 20. I hope you guys love it. Like I said, if you want one down below is the link guys to so go ahead and click on that and grab the one you want. Okay guys, see you until the next video. Bye.